Hi, I'm Natalie Lucier from Waykeeper Farm and Nerdery, and today I want to talk about why we decided to get dairy sheep. So here I am with some of my dairy ewes, and I want to talk about our dairy routine and why we decided to use sheep as our primary animal for dairy, and also some of the benefits of dairy sheep versus maybe other types of dairy animals. So at first, we were researching getting into a dairy animal here on the homestead because we used to be able to buy raw milk from a local dairy when we were living in Texas. And I just fell in love with that fresh raw milk. And I knew I wanted to continue to drink that kind of amazing milk for myself and for my kids and my family. And I also knew that once we were moving back to Ontario, Canada, it's illegal to sell raw milk. So unless we were able to get our own dairy animals, we probably wouldn't be able to get that kind of fresh raw milk that we were used to and that we really enjoyed. We, obviously, the first thought that comes to mind might be a cow because that is the primary dairy animal across, you know, North America at least. And we did look into cows, but there was, you know, a couple hesitations around getting cows. So some of them are, they're just very large animals. And we were brand new to livestock when we got started here on the farm. So just the thought of a large animal that doesn't know you and might not listen and might step on your feet or um, be hard to kind of take care of. And also they just need a lot more hay. They need a lot more feed. Also looked at goats and goats was the next go-to just because, uh, you know, they are popular dairy animals and there's a lot of great other YouTubers. <laughs> and some of my favorites are Weedem and Reap. So definitely go and check out their channel if you want to see some really cute goats. You know, Danelle over there is incredible and she has done a great job with her channel and just kind of inspiring a lot of people to homestead and to do it on a small scale. So definitely go and check that out. And part of the reason I decided to not choose dairy goats was some of the fencing issues. So when it comes to goats, everyone I talked to said they're really, really good at escaping fences and they're really good at eating a lot of things too. So if they escape and they get into your garden, they might eat all of the things that you have in there. And um, they also love brush and, and trees and things like that. And because we want to do silvopasture, which is basically when you grow trees and you intersperse animals into a pasture next to the trees, um, that kind of felt like maybe it wasn't quite the right path for us. So when I was doing my research, uh, actually Danelle's website came up and she had some great information about the difference in terms of the milk itself and um, the composition of the milk. And the cool thing about uh, dairy sheep is that their milk has the highest protein level and also the highest fat levels. After actually drinking it, <laughs> I can definitely confirm that it is super rich and creamy and people that we give it to to try for the first time, they say it's like a melted milkshake, <laughs> essentially. You know, all that's missing is vanilla for it to feel like you are drinking a milkshake. So another benefit for choosing sheep is that they are great grazers. And that means that we can do rotational grazing. And that's something that we are really keen on because we love the carbon sequestration effects of rotational grazing. And that is something that we're obviously still learning a lot about and we'll see uh, more in future videos as well. But essentially just having sheep that will eat down all the grass and all the things that are growing is really great because it allows us to uh, rotate them, improve the soil, and also make sure they eat and are well fed. Some of the other reasons that we picked dairy sheep are that they are winter hardy. So because we're here in Ontario in Canada, we knew that we get snow and it gets cold and it's nice to have an animal that can grow a nice thick coat of wool so that they're not cold in our cold winters. Some other benefits of raising dairy sheep is that you do have to breed them and that means that we get lambs every year and that also means that we could potentially eat the lambs. You know we do like lamb so that was another definite consideration for us. So if you're enjoying this video please leave a comment below and let me know what part is the most interesting or fascinating to you and if you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button if you're enjoying the video too. 
The first part of our milking routine is going out to the pasture and letting our sheep out of their enclosure. Now the cool thing is now they know the routine and they head right back to the barn by themselves and the first sheep goes on the stanchion by herself and starts eating her grains right away. The next thing we do is we wash the teats and the udder with warm soapy water. Next, we remove the first few drops of milk by manually milking. And by the way, we used to milk by hand the first year and now we have a milking machine. So this is an incredible machine. It saves us so much time. And when we're ready, we put that on and we'll start milking. It takes between one to maybe five minutes per sheep to completely milk them out using this milking machine compared to doing it by hand where it used to take us five to 10 or 15 minutes in the very beginning to milk one sheep out. Once we're done with the milking, I go ahead and put in this little ointment and some nice bag balm so that everything stays comfortable throughout the rest of the day. Then we pour the milk out and from there we can bring it back to the house and put it in the refrigerator. So we do not pasteurize our milk, we just drink it fresh like this, but it is important to get it cold quickly so that no bad bacteria will develop in that milk. And now we're ready to clean. What we do is we use that warm soapy water, we run it through all the pipes of this machine, and then after that we switch and we do the bleach water, run it through the pipes of this machine, and then we dump all this water out, and then we're ready to go for the next milking. Then we also do a weekly deep clean where we manually clean all the parts of the milking machine, but this is the super quick post-milking cleanup and it's super easy. After that, the sheep go back out into the pasture and they get to keep eating and relaxing for the rest of the day. This right here is Jubilee. So she was our youngest that we adopted last year. And now she is a mom and uh, she has just done really, really well. She is producing a lot of milk. And by the way, if you wanna know how much milk dairy sheep produce, I've got another video right, right here that you can check out.